Yo, what is up guys? We are back. How is everyone doing? Welcome. Uh, we are here checking out our recording studio, which is right behind this door. Uh, we recently integrated a VR recording setup into this room, which is why I wanted to do a little update video on uh, my little setup here. So we're going to go ahead and open the magic door here. Um, now, I actually moved the green screen further back than it used to be. Uh, I did that today uh, because I've been adjusting the VR stuff a little bit. Uh, but we'll hop in here. This here is all of my, you know, recording stuff packed into this closet. Uh, and I can actually, other than the chair and the green screen, I can actually fit all of this in that closet and shut the doors when I'm not using it. Uh, but we'll go over that stuff in a minute uh, in greater detail. But here we have the green screen. Uh, and right now I'm actually using the light from <laughs> my ceiling fan to actually light the green screen. But you may notice I have this weird little band going across here. That's actually a piece of cardboard that I cut and I clipped to either side of the fan here, which which means I can't actually use my fan, but I never use it anyway, so that's fine. Um, but that is so that it, it's almost like a light diffuser or, you know, a shade. Uh, so that this half of the light doesn't light this part of the screen uh, too bright. Because without that there, that middle section of the screen becomes too bright for the camera to differentiate what's green and what's not, and it just doesn't work. Uh, so that was my... <laughs> that was my solution to fix that problem. Um, until I get, like, proper lighting, uh, where I would have something in this corner that would light the screen at an angle. Uh, and maybe something over here as well, uh, from the opposite angle. Uh, but that's not in the budget right now, so this will have to work for now. <laughs> uh, and you can see I have a bunch of miscellaneous things over in this corner. An extra monitor. Uh, my little karaoke machine that we used, I think it was for the 1500 subscriber special. It might have been before that. Uh, but when we played uh, Sonic and the Black Knight live on this black and white monitor there, that was the thing we actually did. Uh, <laughs> I have my little Bonnie there, uh, Nightmare Bonnie, and then, uh, yeah, I have all these cables and shit going across uh, but here is the actual setup and uh, you can see I got my Danny DeVito up there that one of my viewers sent me as well as a wide variety of uh, plushies and various other things uh, that up there is actually the first dollar that I ever made on YouTube that I framed there uh, that over in the corner is an unopened copy of Smash Bros. Brawl. I don't know how the hell I ended up with that. Um, this bottle here is actually the bottle of Guinness that I drank during our 50 subscriber special. So that was a very long time ago. Um, and then I have an autographed, uh little Snoop Dogg thing here. It's actually autographed by Snoop Dogg. Uh, so obviously we got that up there. We got my Polaroid camera from when I was a kid uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, we got a couple pocket watches, my Zelda beanie. Little Enderman up here who is actually holding in place our uh, VR sensor. That used to be down here when I did the stream last night. I moved it up here, uh, which seems to work a little bit better in testing. 
Uh, so that's what I'm going with now. And actually, this little Enderman plushie is what's holding that in place. <laughs> Which, uh, is really funny to me. Uh, but we have my dual monitors there, another monitor up there, which eventually I want to mount right about here. But for now, it sits there. Um, and then that that here is my computer that I use uh, every day for streaming and occasionally editing. Uh, this is our member board as of right now. Uh, keyboard, mouse, a wide variety of controllers, uh, our Nintendo Switch there, our microphone, which is a blue snowball, not to be confused with the blue snowball ice, which is the cheaper version, I believe. Uh, but then we have all of our beautiful consoles down here. We got the Xbox 360, Xbox One S, PS4, Wii, and N64. Uh, as well as that Nintendo Switch right there. And all of these, through a series of adapters and splitters and all sorts of shit, are simultaneously connected to that Elgato right there, which is connected to my computer, and that's how I'm able to stream all of these things. <laughs> um, and you can see this here is our VR headset that we are using. This is the PSVR version 2 with a Logitech G230 headset that I added to it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much our setup there. It's, it's a little messy for sure, um, but it's actually, believe it or not, it used to look a lot worse than this. As you can see, I've actually tied some of these wires together and kind of, you know, they're all separated uh, in, in a way that makes sense, but when you look at all of them as a whole, it still looks like a mess. <laughs> um, that That's more or less just because I have so many wired things in such a small space, and all of that power delivery has to go out to this outlet. <laughs> Pretty much everything in there runs off of this cord <laughs> that I plug in there when I'm using it, and when I'm not using it, I unplug it. Um, there's also that cord and this cord, which power this little modem here, as well as my Netgear Nighthawk V3 router that I have down here. And you can see one of my splitters there for my AV stuff, like the the Wii and the N64. Um, yeah, and we have a lot of shit going on here. Uh, but with this recording setup, I am able to record and or live stream uh, VR games if if they're available on PSVR, because that's what we're using. Uh, PlayStation 4, the uh, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and original Xbox games via backwards compatibility. Um, then we have the Wii and GameCube, because Wii can play GameCube games. I actually do have an original GameCube that we used to use for our recording setup, uh, but then once I got my Wii, I just boxed that to be more efficient because the Wii can play GameCube games, so it didn't really make sense to have a Wii and a GameCube in here. Uh, but I do have a GameCube with the original box, uh, but then it also lets me play. So we got VR, uh, we got the PlayStation 4, we got Xbox One X, we got the Xbox 360, uh, original Xbox via backwards compatibility. Uh, then we have, did I already say the Wii? I don't remember if I did, but we also have the Wii, the GameCube, uh, the N64, the Nintendo Switch, uh, which I can play NES and SNES via the online apps as well. Uh, and then in addition to that, we also have the Xbox 
360 connect which we can use uh, you know I just move that over here whenever I'm actually using that um, and then on top of all of that we can also do PC stuff as well uh, granted if we're live streaming PC stuff it's generally gonna be lighter games that are easier to run because my PC is not exactly a powerhouse by any means um, so I can't do like really intensive games and live stream them at the same time uh, but I can do most of the things that I want to do with it for now but if I go ahead and plug this baby in you can see I got a lot of stuff going on here click the magic button here yeah, there it is. You got you got to have the RGB. You just you just got to. It's not really not really an option. Um and I'll turn that monitor on as well. Just lean behind here. There we go. Give that a second. And there we go. So that is our fully functional recording setup. Uh, that That's just an extra monitor f for right now. Um, but yeah, so there we go. And uh, if we go ahead and take a look behind the green screen, you can see... I have another computer here. That was our original computer. I'm actually working on that right now. Uh, I have a couple hard drives down there. I have all of our console boxes here. Uh, and then I have sort of a bed <laughs> that um, I don't sleep in here all the time, but if I'm staying up late, uh, I like to call it my office, the recording booth there, I, I call it my office. So if I'm staying up late in the office working on something, uh, I can come back here and just kind of sleep. Um, but I don't always sleep in here. Uh, and then again, just a bunch of miscellaneous things here. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is pretty much our recording setup. Um, as a whole, um, I'm pretty happy with it, and, uh, yeah, I think it, I think we'll be able to do a lot of really fun things now that we have this VR headset here, because that really is gonna give us a lot of options. Um, I find it funny, though, because we did retire this headset, that was our original microphone back in the day um, but now we're using it again because I'm using it for VR stuff so there we go um, yeah so we're gonna wrap up here thank all you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tour we did here and um, I'll see you guys later tonight for some Smash Bros because that's what won the voting poll for this week. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys there. Thank all you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, guys.